Hey brothers and sisters, this is Elizabeth Marie with Lotta Rain 333. I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I do this video for His glory alone. I want to thank all my subscribers, for those who have been encouraging me, for those who have been supporting and praying for this ministry. It means more than you would know. So I just want to thank you so much because we all together are the body of Christ and we all are supposed to be helping and encouraging one another. So blessings to you. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that now and make sure you ring the bell so you will get notifications of my next videos that I put up concerning the things that the Lord has been giving me. Okay, I have a, another sobering message that I received on August 15th, 2022. And most of you have heard me say this before. I don't get pleasure in bringing some of these messages to you. They're difficult ones. They're warnings and they're difficult and they're hard. And many people think that it's just about doom and gloom. But you know, that's not what it's about. The Lord warns His people of the things that are coming. And He does that because He loves us. And He also brings warnings so people can repent and turn and pray and seek the Lord. Prayer has a way of changing things. Matter of fact, I heard this about prayer this morning. I heard Jesus is the answer and prayer is the method. I'll say that again. Jesus is the answer and prayer is the method. So this is another reason that the Lord gives warning. So his people can be praying, humbling themselves, seeking the Lord, and getting into that secret place with him and, and praying for mercy and help in our time of need. And the last uh, reason I believe the Lord gives me these messages is also so we can prepare. He wants his bride to not be unaware of what is happening around them. He wants them to, to have eyes wide open and to see the dangers that might be up ahead. So not only we can pray, but we can prepare for what's happening. So those are the three reasons, repentance, prayer, and preparation of why the Lord gives me these warnings. A couple days ago, the Lord also showed me something that I quickly want to share before I bring you this. And let's see if I can find it. Um, it's about that there are two paths to go on. And we get to choose uh, the paths um, that we want to be on. He, The Lord gives us free will. He gives us the choice. We get to choose. We get to choose if we want to be on a path where we're defeated, where we are feeling hopeless. And especially as we see this wickedness and evil and depravity all around us, it's easy to feel hopeless. It's easy to feel defeated. But we must not be like that, brothers and sisters. You know, we've got to be walking on the path of joy. This path is the path that leads to Jesus. It leads to salvation. And this is where we can live and reign with Jesus. Even now, even though we can't see him, positionally speaking, we can reign with him right now. We can reign with him um, in everything that we do because he has called us to be overcomers. He has called us to be victorious. And when we walk on this path, nothing can touch us unless it is the Lord's will because he protects us. And this is the path where we know that God is in control. So all that hopelessness melts away and our hope is fixed on Jesus, knowing that his perfect will be done. And that's why we pray that prayer, um, our Heavenly Father, we pray that His will be done as on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, now let me go ahead and read to you now the message that I received. Um, while I was praying, I saw in the Spirit a submarine. 
And then I heard this. First I heard submarines. Then I heard spying. Then I heard both coasts. And then I heard war continues to brew. And then this message came. Vultures are circling around dying prey. So it is with America. They can smell and taste the blood. They wait expectantly for just the right moment to pounce on their prey. The strong go after the weak and pick, and pick them off. Only the strong survives the weak eliminated. Your country is now in that position. It has been deliberately attacked to bring it down and cause this weakness. It has been systematically and carefully planned. To bring down a giant is not a small thing, but like Goliath, it will fall. The nations tremble as they see Babylon wounded because they know they are next. The world is being set up for their Savior to come, the Antichrist, the Assyrian, as some would call him. He will right the wrongs, but in small and meager ways, because the people will be desperate, so they will accept any scraps that are thrown to them. They will also take any crumbs that the system will give them, for they will be hungry, destitute, cold, and exhausted. Those who look for another Savior will find no relief, though they will try. They will put their hope in another. And then in the spirit, I heard like a trap close, like I heard like a snap. And then I heard this. The trap shall shut, and they will be caught in the lies and deceptions. They will accept the mark gladly, for to them it is the only way to peace. However, deep inside, whatever conscience is left, they will know better, and that there is another way, a true way to God, the creator of the universe. But they will de deny their own conscience for the sake of security and peace. For those who hear this message, resolve it now in your heart not to bow to another, but rely on me. Resolve now who you will love and serve. Resolve now who is your God and Savior. Resolve now that nothing can separate you from me. I will then give you the help and strength that you will need in the time of battle. You are my precious ones, and nothing can pluck you out of my hands as long as you continue to abide in me. These days are coming sooner than you think, so make the right choices now, not when it is so late that you will not have that chance. Make the right decisions and you will live an eternity with me. Stay faithful as I am faithful and stay true as I am true. And it was signed, your Savior, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jesus. That was the end of the message, brothers and sisters. And I want to read a couple verses. And if you go to my blog, there will be a transcript of everything I have said today, as well as the corresponding scriptures. I will have there uh, where you can read about Babylon. You know, Babylon is a system. It is a system. It's not just America. Matter of fact, it includes a lot more than that, but I'm not going to get into it right now. But I have played, I have Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 51, Revelation 17, Revelation 18. I have that all on my blog so you can go and you can read about Babylon and the fall of Babylon. Now let me go ahead and close with a couple verses. Revelation 18.2, it says this, And he cried mightily with a loud voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, as, and has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison, for every foul spirit and a cage for every unclean and hated bird. Revelation 18.10 says, Standing at a distance for fear of her term torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour your judgment comes. Revelation 18.21 then a mighty angel took a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus, with the violence 
The great city Babylon shall be thrown down and shall not be found any more. And then in Revelation 16.9 it says this, Now the great city was divided into three parts, and the city of the nations fell. And great Babylon was remembered before God to give her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath.